Okay, so you're going through feelings of feeling very, uh, you know, upset. There's an element of despair, helplessness, uh, and frustration that is going on with you. Maybe things are not happening fast enough, or things are not happening at all. And this is frustrating you and upsetting you. So you do need to be uh, using your charms, uh, you know, to get through to people or to attract the right person so uh, that is very important for you to do now there's some kind of celebration that you have um, attended um, you know you needed to speak to somebody about how you're feeling about things as well so there seems to be something uh, that you have attended in the recent past it could have been a wedding you know, it could have been something uh, that caused you to have uh, to question uh, you know uh, where you're at at this particular moment so uh, it looks like there's an opportunity that's going to present itself, so you need to take a chance uh, on that. You know, just go for it, really. And it's going to bring in a lot of happiness as well. So, uh, you know, if you don't take that chance, you will never know. So don't be scared uh, to move on and to take that chance and move on as well. And then, you know, you won't uh, be so frustrated as well. And be very charming during this particular um, encounter because you know it's going to end up being something that might end up being committed or something that you're waiting for uh, to come into your uh, arena so i'm just going to draw some cards from the um romantic tarot oops i have shuffled this deck of the deck you've got the page of cups over here so lots of new social invitations coming in lots of uh, social occasions to attend as well been coming in for you so it looks like maybe you've met somebody there but you're going to be meeting a lot of people uh you know if you haven't already that is what's going to be so um you know the summer is going to bring in a lot of people coming in a lot of uh, connections and maybe even a, a romantic offer coming in for you as well so what's going on with you? You're very heartbroken about uh, what happened. You've, uh, you've got that five of swords over here. You can see this man's crying over this bridge and all the flowers are falling into the water and the swans are uh, going past and you know everything, all the, the flowers in his hands are all uh, ripped to pieces. So it looks like you've been through a really difficult period. There was a lot of conflict within that relationship and you're very heartbroken, you're very betrayed and you feel very rejected as well. You've been very, very upset about the whole situation. So it seems like you've been focusing a lot on your work over here with this knight of pentacles so it seems like that's where your focus has been ever since you've had gone through this heartbreak over here so in the past it looks like uh you know um you've got this choice oh, this is the lover's card now usually this is could be read as uh you know a romantic relationship coming in but with the rest of the cards it seems like you've had some kind of decision that you've made an important decision maybe to move on from that relationship you've gone through that divorce so maybe that was the decision about whether to stay in that relationship or move on and it looks like you've opted for the divorce uh part of it because you've got that queen of swords over here so there was some kind of divorce that you went through so you had a very important decision to make uh, maybe you're very in love with this person but uh, it wasn't working out and you've gone through that divorce and since you've been feeling rather alone very isolated very upset about what has happened so uh, you've got that uh, hierophant card over here and this is about reviewing your all the things that you believe in, even reviewing that commitment of marriage as well. So you've been changing your ideas and your viewpoints. And this has been on your mind. Maybe what you set out to do or your, your belief system has changed quite a bit since you've gone through this divorce. Maybe you were a person that did believe in happily ever after and this is not what happened. And so that has left you feeling rather, uh, you know, where you're questioning your belief systems. So you've got the nine of coins over here. So, you know, whatever that relationship was, uh, it seemed to be, uh, you know, it was up, keeping up appearances, really. Uh, you have now got your independence from uh, that particular person. Uh, maybe you're going to be starting a new relationship uh, that's going to allow you to shine. And it might be somebody uh, that you meet on the world work front as well now this is about you focusing on your work but this could also be somebody coming in for you with that knight of 
Pentacles, and that might end up leading to a very stable relationship where both of you are financially independent, you complement each other, and it's going to be some kind of relationship that you have been waiting for a long time. It's a very financially stable relationship as well. So you might be meeting this person on the work front, and you are you're going to be able to set up a good, stable uh, relationship. Uh, you know, something that uh, where you are on the same page as well. So you might be working uh, with this person that you meet. Now, you're still dealing with legal issues from the previous case, uh, and this is still keeping you a bit upset. So you're sorting out, sorting through legal issues, uh, or maybe, you know, uh, sorting out all the little bits and bobs of uh, ending things or ending that particular legal issue. So this is about legal news, decision being made, and just, uh, you know, rounding up affairs. And you're making a brand new start. You've got the Fool card over here. So you've ended it legally, and it looks like you're starting a brand new cycle or brand new uh, way of life. You're moving on uh, from whatever it is, uh, whatever that relationship was. You've now legally severed it, and you are going to be making some Something, a brand new start. You're worried that uh, you know you're going to feel the person that you get involved in might not be as interested in you as you'd like them to be because she's got all these um, you know um, incense sticks burning. She's very religious, and this man doesn't seem to be interested at all. So you are worried about that. You want that person to be on the same page as you. So uh, you're worried that you know you might not make that connection with that person, especially that spiritual connection. Now, going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the World card over here, the Ten of Swords, and you've got the Moon card over here. So the World card is about the ending of that cycle. So whatever that relationship was, it was far too burdensome, uh, and it needed to come to an end. It is karmic. It needed to finish. So whatever lesson you came to learn with that particular person and that relationship is now finished. Uh, and there may have been children involved uh, you know, in this particular relationship, but it looks like you've ended that cycle, and you're ready to move on. There's been a legal severing, there's been uh, a divorce that happened and it looks like you've turned your back on this particular person, maybe the communication has now gone and you're not really paying any attention. There was a lot of problems there may have been some verbal abuse that went on as well within that relationship but it looks like you're finished and you're done with that particular case and you're ready to move on and it looks like there is a new relationship coming in but don't allow yourself to be swept off your feet. The mood card talks about feeling a bit depressed after everything has gone on but also if you're starting a brand new relationship make sure that you know the ins and outs of it and you there's no deception that is going on make sure everything is out in the open nothing is hidden so make sure you research carefully the mood card also says wait don't make very very big decisions don't jump into things because there are things that have to still come to light there's some secrets that still have to come to light so if you jump into a relationship there might be something that this person may be keeping from you so make sure uh, that you research very very carefully before you get into a relationship so proceed cautiously. So it looks like that relationship, a new relationship, is coming in with that Nine of Pentacles, uh, and it is going to be something that gives you that, uh, you know, recognition. Uh, this person holds you in high regard, uh, but it also means that you will have your financial independence, and they are financially independent as well. And like I said, you might be meeting them on the work front. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Archangel Power Tarot for the Oracle Read. So you've got the Ace of Ariel over here, which is the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, it's your lucky day, new resources of money, time, support, a change in job or promotion. Now, in a, a love spread, the Ace of uh, Ariel read as a uh, new beginning, a new relationship, and it is somebody that you will meet, uh, that you work with. So you are going to start something brand new with somebody uh, that you're working with. And you might meet them on some kind of project uh, that you'll work on together as well. So release yourself from burdensome situations. This is the wedding card as well, or celebration card. So whatever this relationship is that you start might end up being something long-term and might end up in a marriage as well. Uh, so, you know, just... Um, and it might be some uh, somebody that you meet through people, through collaboration. Uh, so this is the Four of Gabriel, Four of Rods. So, you know, it might be where you meet a lot of people and then you end up, um, um, you know, getting involved with somebody that you're working with on that particular project. And it might end up in a marriage. And then you've got the Epiphany card, Joy Through Spiritual Growth, Be the Light to Others, Answers That Come Through Meditation. So uh, this is the Hermit card of your being focused on your work a lot. So, um, And it's also whatever this relationship ca that comes in is going to be pretty healing. Uh, and um, you know it's going to bring you a lot of insight as well. So you might be spending a lot more time by yourself, uh, but it looks like whatever this relationship is that comes in, 
might end up, uh, you know, you might be meeting them through people and meeting it on the job front. And, uh, you know, by focusing on your work over there, this is uh, this person uh, will also bring you a lot of spiritual growth with that hermit card coming in over there. So uh, something that comes in, you've learned a lot um, um, from you know, your, um, whatever you've been through and you are able to give them insight and they will be able to give you insight as well. Cause it seems like maybe they have also been through the mill a little bit. Uh, and maybe this is why you'll reach that kind of understanding. You'll know exactly what's going on. So there's that new relationship that might be coming in on the worked front over here. And like I said, it might end up in something long-term over there. There's a lot of spiritual insights coming in for you. And even with that ace of area, it looks like that relationship is starting, uh, with somebody that you are working with on some kind of projects. You are going out a lot more and having a lot more social in um, uh, you're socializing quite a bit so if you get asked out you know don't uh, don't isolate yourself from everybody else and you're still rounding up or ending with all those legal problems that you've gone through or le legal matters are now coming to a close and you're going to be making some f a brand new start as well so i hope this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye